Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another video. Today we're going to be painting a nice cute cactus in Photoshop. It's a basic digital painting tutorial, so if you are an advanced one, maybe this one is not for you, maybe you're going to find something a little bit valuable here and there, but if you are a beginner, this is a tutorial for you. You notice that I have somebody here? Hi. This is Anya, if you remember her from my How to Paint in Procreate tutorial. The carrot one. The carrot one. Uh, and we are here again to make another cute little thing with cute eyes. So let's get started. We're gonna be using Photoshop and we're going to be explaining the things super peacefully and easy going. So let's, let's, <laughs> let's start. All right, so we're going to start creating a new layer. I'm gonna click on the plus icon right here to create a new layer. This is going to be the, the ball of the cactus. We're going to make a cactus that has a ball, a little flower and a little pot below it, okay? So it's going to, first we're going to create the pieces of the puzzle, okay? Mm -hmm. We call, I call this the masking, but um, you can call it making the silhouettes, making the flats, or many other names, okay? Oh, something else before, I'm gonna turn the background into gray. So I'm gonna select the background layer, I'm gonna go to middle gray, and I'm gonna press Alt Backspace. Now I'm gonna go back to layer one, and I'm gonna call this one, I'm gonna double click in there, and I'm gonna call it Cactus. I'm gonna press M to go to the marquee tool or the selection tool right here. And I'm gonna make sure that I'm selecting the elliptical one. Okay. To be able to drag this one, you just have to long press to drag this menu out. So I'm gonna select the elliptical, elliptical one and I'm gonna make a little sphere. I'm just gonna drop it in there and I'm gonna select the color of my cactus. Don't worry right now, you can select the color, like whatever color you want. I'm gonna select these nice little green right there. Okay. And I'm gonna press again, Alt Backspace. please. Okay, now I have this selection here. I have. I want to get rid of this selection. So I'm gonna press... Command D? Yes. All right, now this is going to be the body of the cactus. We need a little pot for it, okay? Mm -hmm. To make the pot of the cactus, we are going to duplicate the shape of the cactus. So okay. check it out. I'm gonna press Command J to duplicate the cactus. Okay, yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna... Control T or Command T to transform it. Okay, yes. I'm gonna drag it down. Cool. So if you have a new Photoshop, you have to press Shift. If you have one of the old Photoshops, you have to just drag. Okay? okay. And now we have this shape. I want to color this shape another color, so I'm gonna block the transparency of the layer by clicking on the little checker icon up here. I'm gonna select the color of the pot that I want. Okay. And I don't know about you, but I have always loved brown pots. Okay. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I'm gonna drag it down until it's right there on the center of the cactus. Yeah. And I want it to go down, then get smaller, and then go down again. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Okay. So, to do that, yes. I'm gonna start by creating another one. So again, Control J. I'm gonna select the one that is below. Okay. I'm gonna drag it down, and I'm gonna make it smaller. This time, it's the whole thing is smaller. Now I'm missing the middle because this is the first ellipse and then the last ellipse, but I wanted to have a small one in the middle. So I'm gonna go back again to the top, mm -hmm. Control J, grab the one that is in the middle, drag it down. So now we have to join them. To be able to join them is very simple. We are going to create a new layer about these guys, yeah? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna select a brush that is just a simple round brush. In my case, I have one like that, that is the LP Solid F. You need a brush that is just round and it doesn't have any pressure uh, sensitivity or any size sensitivity. And we are going to come here. I'm gonna zoom in. By the way, zooming in, I didn't explain it to you. To zoom in, I press Z and I drag to the right and to the left. And to move around the canvas, I press the space bar to select the hand and I move around. And now I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna join these guys. There, Photoshop has a nice feature that is that when you click somewhere else and you hold shift and click somewhere else, again, it creates a straight line. I know that. We are gonna take advantage of that to come here, zoom in, and I'm gonna put it right there in the border. Now we're gonna fill the hole. Let's get the hole. And we're gonna do the same on this side. Okay. Hold shift, click, fill the hole. We have a bunch of layers for this pot 
and it's just a mess. So we have to organize this thing. Okay. One of the first things that I want to do is to create a top layer for the pot, for the cover to be there. So you will remember that this one was this one, right? Yes. So we, I'm gonna bring it to the top top and I'm gonna color it lighter than the rest so that I can differentiate it. Okay. Yeah? So I'm gonna select a lighter color than this one, block the transparency, and click Alt Backspace. Awesome. So now that we have this layer, we are gonna paint below this one a shadow because you see that there is like a little stair below this one. I want a shadow right there. To paint that one, we're gonna fuse these two layers, layer one and cactus. Fuse them. To make a shadow in here, we're going to lock the transparency first. So click on this one until you see a little lock on the side of your layer, mm -hmm. yeah? Now we're gonna select a darker color and we're gonna make a tiny shadow. Nice, Thank you. nice. Practice. Okay, so now what about we create the earth of the little pot, okay? So for that, we need to create a hole inside the pot, but the great hole is a bit messy in layers, so let's not do it, let's instead of that, create a new layer that is going to look like the earth, okay? Okay. So I'm gonna duplicate this one, Control J, yes. or Command J. Yes. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna color it earth color. Okay. Load the transparency, and I'll backspace. Okay. I'm gonna Control T, transform it, and make it a bit smaller. And that works as a nice little earth for the, for our cactus. It's really cute. Right? Mm -hmm. Now our cactus is kind of getting out of the of the pot a bit too much, right? Like it's just a ball floating there. Mm -hmm. So how about we give it a little bit of a shape and start actually painting that cactus, huh? Cool. To do that, I'm gonna press Control T, yeah, um. on the cactus, and you mm -hmm. click Warp. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. With oh, this mark, this one. <laughs> you can start bringing it a little bit more of a shape of a cactus. Like it's inside the, the, the earth. So I'm gonna just raise this bottom part until it gets the shape that I want. Oh, that is so cute. And you can just give it whatever shape you want. Make it asymmetrical, make it nice. Just a nice little cute cactus, okay? Now we are gonna select V. Yes. Click V and then drag our plant our cactus. <laughs> Plant our cactus. Aww. Right. Okay. Super cute. Super, super cute. That's nice. Alright, so I brought this little reference in here so that we can see how we are gonna shape this cactus. Okay? This is from the different angle. Yeah, it is a different angle, but it's just to get an idea. We're not going to make it as complex as this one in here. We're going to make it very simple so that you guys can follow along. Okay? The first thing that I'm gonna do is paint this thing like it would be a sphere. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. so I'm gonna block the transparency, then I'm gonna select the color of the cactus. Okay. I'm gonna select a brush that is big and soft like the airbrush, the, like the LP airbrush right here. And I'm gonna shade it like there is a direction of light. To be able to shade something, you always need to decide what is the direction of the light. In this case, I'm gonna say that it's just coming from the right, right top. So I'm gonna just put some shadow on this side. If you are shading too much, I'm gonna select the color of the light and put a couple of touches of light back in there. If you feel that it is too much, then you just select the color of the light. Uh -huh. Yeah, and with a big, big brush like this one, you just give it a touch. And that looks great. Okay. Let's make now some lines for the cactus. I'm gonna create a new layer and we're gonna clip this layer to the cactus. So I'm gonna hold Alt going between both of the layers until the icon changes and clicking here. Now this is going to become the lines. With the airbrush, but this time I'm gonna make it very small, something like this, and of course a dark color. I'm gonna start making some lines that go to the top. Una, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis. How do you feel about it? I like it. Nice. And on the top, let's make on this line a little bit of a shadow because right here we're gonna put a flower. Okay, so we do we choose the same color from before or can we just the same color that you were using for the for the lines? Okay. Would be nice. Okay, okay. Now let's put a flower on top. Make the flower, I'm gonna make a new layer, and this time I'm gonna use the lasso tool. 
So I'm gonna select L for lasso. I'm just gonna make sure that I'm using this first one, lasso tool, instead of polygonal or magnetic, that regular lasso tool. Okay. And we're gonna make a nice shape of a flower, whatever you want. So in my case, I'm gonna make something like, like this. What is that? And I'm gonna paint it pink. Like the one on the reference. On backspace to fill in the shape. Right? It is so much better. I don't even know what I'm doing in here. I'm gonna create a new layer. Awesome, let's paint a little bit of this flower. I want my flower to get darker when it gets closer to the cactus. So I'm gonna select a darker purple, block the transparency, and just paint a little bit of darker purple right there. And the same for the one part below, behind. I'm gonna make it a bit lighter. Up there. In my case, mine is a bit yeah. too, too light. Okay. So I'm missing more shadow below the flower and more shadow against the, the pot. Uh -huh. So I'm gonna create another layer on top of the lines and put more shadow next to the whole pot. So it's really, really dark, closing to the pot. As we added this shadow, we can also add more light. And we can do it by creating a new layer, putting it on top, selecting the light color, and making it lighter and more yellow, and putting a nice touch of light up there. I usually like this type of light to have a color mode, for example, a blending mode, for example, lighting, color dodge, screen, or one of these ones. My favorite, usually, is overlay. I like how the cactus is looking, okay. but the pot is looking a bit too flat. Yes. We're gonna make a shadow in this one, so I'm gonna create a new layer, and we're gonna uh -huh. clip it to the base. And now, with a soft airbrush, I'm just gonna slowly go on one side and on the other side but especially on the left side because this is where the light is not hitting. I think it has... All right, so let's put some little eyes on this guy and this is going to be very easy and is my favorite part of making these little cute illustrations. So I'm just gonna go above the pot because it's gonna be part of the pot. You can put them on the cactus if you want, but I'm gonna put them in here in the pot. I'm gonna create a new layer and I'm gonna make a black circle that is going to be the eye. You can make the whatever eyes you want. You can make them happy or you can make them very happy like that. I'm gonna make it blushing because I think it's gonna be cute. So it's gonna have a nice little sphere there. I'm gonna make it like this and duplicate it on the other side. Control J and we drag it to the other side. And to make the spikes is going to be very, very easy. So that one I'm gonna leave them to you, but I'm gonna explain you how to do them. I'm just gonna create a new layer in here, select a whitish, whitish yellow color, and I'm gonna make a little dot and I'm gonna make some spikes coming out of it. So three little spikes. And we want to duplicate this one all over the place. So to do so, I'm gonna select with V and instead of just Control J to duplicate it and then move it and the whole thing. There is a way of doing this faster and that is if I press V and then I hold Alt, I can make this one copy itself. I'm not just gonna put it all over the place. I'm gonna rotate some of them so that it doesn't look repeated. Control T, rotate. And I'm gonna move it and continue to it until I like my little cactus. There are still so many other tips and tools for digital painting left, but I don't want to make this tutorial way too long, so here's a sped up recording of the rest of the painting. This is a good moment to tell you that around May 2022 I'm gonna be releasing a full in-depth course called Digital Painting Master where I'm gonna teach you everything that I have learned in the 10 plus years of being a digital artist. If you want to be the first one to know about it, go to digitalpaintingmaster.com and you will get some exclusive bonuses when it releases. guys I hope that you like the video I hope that you learned something out of it if you have any questions or if you want to see other softwares <laughs> or some of these more in detail then please let me know Annie what do you think it was great thank you for watching guys <laughs> I'll see you on the next video bye, bye.